Hello and welcome to the QDCMS tutorial for newsletter templates. Here we are in QDCMS and I've selected the marketing tab in newsletter and we're going to talk about managing our newsletter templates. For the purposes of this tutorial I've selected the JBF Sale website. JBF Sale is a website for a franchise just between friends. They have several different subsites underneath them, over a hundred now, and each subsite has direct access to the parent site's newsletter templates. This is very handy if you have a franchise. It is a special feature with certain QDCMS clients, but if you are interested in it, please contact the sales staff at Quantum Delta. Let's go ahead and get started talking about newsletter templates. To edit a template, we can click on the title of that template here in this Manage Newsletter Templates interface. Let's do that and take a look at one of these. You'll notice to the right in the right column, there's a thumbnail image of what that newsletter template looks like. This is very handy when people are choosing the newsletter template because it gives them a quick visual representation of what that newsletter template looks like. Here's our name and a bit of a description about what that newsletter template has in it in case they can't see all of those details in the image itself. Below that is the HTML template itself. This is loaded in a WYSIWYG and you can go full screen with it by clicking the full screen button to see what it really looks like and we can click on our source to toggle between source and HTML view. You'll notice that the HTML uses inline table-based layout and styling versus a CSS div-based style. The reason for that is when we design a template for a website, an email template specifically, it's best to go to the lowest common denominator there because there are hundreds of email clients all with different ways to render HTML. So by going to a table-based layout we have the best results of everybody seeing the HTML newsletter template the same way. Nothing's guaranteed, but this provides the best possible results in our experience. Now if you want to upload your own HTML newsletter template, you can certainly do that. Let's talk about how to do that. We'll minimize and we'll go back out and click on Add Template. Add Template provides a blank form that allows you, as an administrator, to add your template. Here you can provide your name, your description, and your HTML template itself, as well as the image thumbnail that represents visually what the HTML template looks like. So let's go back to Manage Templates and talk about this interface for a minute. Here, if you have a template that you've created that you really like, and you don't want to have to re-paste the code, it's real easy. You can click the checkbox next to one and click copy and it'll create a copy of that particular HTML template. And if you're unhappy with an HTML template and you want to discontinue it, you can do the same thing by clicking the checkbox and hitting delete and that will delete that HTML template. Let's talk for just a minute about the interface of adding a template to a new newsletter. So we'll click Add Newsletter. This gives us a blank newsletter form as if we were going to create a new newsletter. And the templates icon is right here on the WYSIWYG toolbar. When I click this, it loads all of the templates for this particular site. And I can see the visual representation, the name and the description. Once I click on one, it fills the content area with that newsletter template. The site administrator can click here to go full screen and easily replace any of the placeholder text or images in this newsletter template to create her own variety of this particular newsletter. And that's it for the QDCMS tutorial on HTML newsletters. For more information about how to use the QDCMS newsletter module, please check out that specific tutorial.